What up YouTube, it's Sherm LaRock and I wanted to do a quick little video today about the Akai Renaissance and the NPC Studio. Uh, today we're going to be talking about vintage mode. For those who know already, the Akai NPC Renaissance has a feature that the studio doesn't have and that's vintage mode. And basically what vintage mode is, it's like a uh, software emulation that kind of emulates some of the old machines like the SB1200. They have a ring mode on there. They also have the uh, NPC60 and the NPC3000. Now, um, the way that Akai achieves this effect is basically it's a plug-in algorithm mixed with the um, hot outputs on the Akai NPC Renaissance. Now, if you're a studio user, you don't have these features available to you. But I'm going to show you today how to crack, crack the plugins within the Akai software so that you can use it with the studio. That's right. I looked on the internet. I looked on YouTube. I'm surprised I didn't see anyone do this. I gave it a try and it worked, so I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in the NPC software. If we go up here to Preferences, we click on Other, and for our studio users, we'll see that Vintage Mode is grayed out. This is where the Renaissance guys would normally apply Vintage Mode, okay? But what we're going to do, we're going to do a whole different way. We're actually going to use Vintage Mode as a plugin. So let's close out our software. Alright, so what you want to do is go in your main hard drive where your MPC software is installed. Alright, so now we're in the Akai folder. And if you click on effects, these are all the plugins that come with the software, right? These are all the MPC plugins. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see there's an MPC 60 emulator. There's the MPC 3000 emulator. If you keep going down here, you got your SP1200 and your SP1245, which is the ring mode. Uh, basically, Akai includes these right with the studio users. But what they do is they use the Renaissance to actually unlock these plugins. So what we're going to do is make a few changes so we can unlock these plugins to work with the studio. So let's go back. If you notice up here, I got a folder called third party plugins, third party plugins too. Basically what I did and what I recommend most of y'all doing is creating a copy folder with the plugins, the third party plugins you're going to plan to use with your NPC software. When the software first came out, it had a lot of glitches and bugs uh, in regards to third party software. So what I did is I made a copy folder with only the plugins I knew I wanted to use with the Akai software and I loaded them one by one or group by group testing them out individually and um, every time they worked I kept them in there and if there was ever a problem with my software I just deleted the last the last um, plugin that I installed and uh, and I was good so I definitely recommend creating a new folder within your Akai folder for all your third-party plugins alright so let's click this folder here and if you notice I have all these plugins that we just looked at the NPC 60, 3000, and SP 1200. Now, the difference is if you look at the name, it says NPC 60 Emulate. I actually just changed the name to confuse the software. They are originally emulators. So, what you want to do is go back here to effects, copy those plugins, you know, the NPC and the SP 1200, and then copy them into a new folder and change their name. Once they're here, I just I deleted the um, last couple letters and just changed it to emulate. Alright, so now let's reopen our software. Alright, let's go up to plugins. So what you want to do here is make sure whatever folder you just put those new plugins is loaded up here. I'm sure you know how to do this step already, but you're definitely going to have to rescan all your plugins once you do that before these plugins are going to load. Once you're done with that, close that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close and restart our software just to make sure that all our new effects reload. So let's open it up. Now, I already created a little simple project so that I can show you how this works. Vintage mode, here we go. All 
Now let me hit play. Now, as you can hear, I got a simple hip hop swing boom bat pattern going. Now, a quick note I gotta make. If you listen, these drums are pretty grimy as they are. Um, you're definitely gonna notice effect way more if you have a thinner drum sound or maybe a basic library drum that you need to add a little bit of grit to, you know what I mean? So let's take a look here in the track mixer. Now I gotta tell you, you can apply this effect any way you want. The way I choose to do it here is, if you notice, I got all my drum sounds and a bass note bounce to this track right here, right? So we're gonna apply our effect just this track. You can apply it to any track. You can apply it as a program insert. You can even put it on your master bus over here, which I like to do sometimes. So let's go into our effects, go into VST, and if you scroll down, there it is. MPC 3000 emulator, MPC 60 emulator. Just keep scrolling down. And there we got our SP1200 and our 45. I'm gonna start with the ring mode because it's the most noticeable effect. So let me click on that. Boom, there it is. Vintage mode in the Akai Studio. Now if we click on that, we can change the wetness, the dryness, the amount of the effect. We can change the decimation. Bring it down just for just a touch. You know what I mean? How much bit reduction you want. A 12 bit sound, right? Bring this down just a touch of grit, you know what I mean? Now, granted, this is nothing like having an SB1200 or an MPC3000 or 60, but it's a nice touch for, for those of us who are doing things in the box nowadays. Now, I'm gonna go up back up here to my MPC3000. that's just a nice that's just kind of a nice effect I usually put this one on the master bus and it just kind of blankets the beat really nicely it helps bring everything kind of together so there you go vintage mode in the Akai studio sorry Akai I had to do it you know what I mean I think it's a nice feature plus I want y'all to step your game up in regards to the software maybe come out with some new algorithms maybe the 950 the um, ASR 10 or something like that once again y'all my name is Sherman Rock check for my videos I'm going to have more vi beat videos, more tutorials, some more of my own music, some more visuals. Peace.